This is the Lancome UV Aqua Gel Sunscreen. It is lightweight, cooling, and invisible. It uses it as a moisturizer or a primer. And it has all four chemical sunscreens in here. And this is how the bottle looks like. So let's open this up. So the consistency is very silky, very soft. It does feel lightweight on my fingers here. The sunscreen has a flowery fragrance. So it absorbs into my skin really fast. It blends really well. Let's apply another layer and see if it's going to peel. The fragrance is pretty strong in this sunscreen. So far, there is a hint of a white cast and the finish is not too oily, not too matte. It is definitely dewy. So I'm going to wear the sunscreen for the rest of the day and see how it does. It has been 10 hours and this is how my skin looks like. Now this sunscreen is definitely not for me. My eyes are very sensitive. So the sunscreen has been irritating my eyes the entire day today. I can barely open my eyes right now. Uh, they have been watery and red. Besides that, this sunscreen is also very oily for oily skin. It also is peeling off. The sunscreen is definitely a fail for me. I kind of suspected it would be just because it has all chemical sunscreens in here and my eyes do not like chemical sunscreens and it felt just like the Glow Recipe sunscreen. This one has zinc oxide in it but it's still irritating. My recent obsession is my Tatcha sunscreen. It has hyaluronic acid, it has aloe and it doesn't irritate my eyes and it has a very pretty silky finish. It looks like I'm wearing a light layer of foundation when I apply this sunscreen on. And it also tinted and the tint looks like this. It is very lightweight. And no matter how many times I reapply this sunscreen on my face, it doesn't peel and it doesn't look cakey. It is lightweight on a sheer side but yet has enough coverage. The only drawback about this sunscreen for me is the price. It is $60 for 1.7 fluid ounces. It's very expensive for a sunscreen. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because all that really helps out my YouTube algorithm and that really helps me to create more contents like this. So like always, I'll see you next time. Bye.